Beatboxer from outer space. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel. Before we begin with this episode, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post some brand new videos. Thanks again, and please enjoy this new episode of Cartoon Beatbox Battle. Are you ready for Cartoon Beatbox Battle? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another crazy episode of the Cartoon Beatbox Battles. Last time on Cartoon Beatbox Battles, we had an epic dance party with Mario and Sonic. Mario had everyone dancing with his beatbox remix to his own theme song. With crazy transformations, embarrassing props, and a beatbox guitar solo, Mario showed us all what he can bring to the table. But Sonic wasn't phased as he glided across the ring, made fun of his weight, and stole his girl. But things got a little bit more serious when he transformed into Super Sonic and started beatboxing with some scary looking robots. You guys voted, and Sonic will be going on to the next round. Oh no! <laughs> uh, what are you doing down there? Shh, I'm not to hear. Okay. Anyway, today's battle is going to be between two characters that have gone on to the next round. In this corner, weighing 35 pounds and a height of 4 foot 1 inches, he loves jellyfishing, blowing bubbles, and cooking hamburgers. That's Krabby Patties. What? Krabby Patties. Oh. Um, and making Krabby Patties. Don't forget being really annoying. <laughs> Uh, today we have Spongebob! <laughs> I'm ready! I don't think I am. In this corner, weighing 210 pounds and a height of 6 foot 2 inches, he's super skilled with swords, somehow a professional assassin, and loves to talk. He is the merc with the mouth. Today we have Deadpool! I hope you got my chimichanga, Spongebob. I hope you got my picture. Oh, that's right. I didn't send it yet. Oh, that's adorable. Did you color it yourself? I made one for you, too. <gasps> <laughs> if you want to get them back, SpongeBob, you can do it now in three, two, one, go! <laughs> Chimichangas were made out of crap. How do you feel about that, Deadpool? Eh, same way I feel about Deadshot missing the toilet. But now he has a sponge to help him clean it all up. That's why you exist, Sponge Boom, to clean up RP. <gasps> Deadpool, there's kids watching, man. What? I said pee. Ah, never mind. It's your turn in three, two, one. Go! Is that rotten cheese in the trash? Oh, wait a minute, it's SpongeBob. Don't forget the white pine. Hey! Sorry, dude, that's what sponges do. I know kids watch your show, but here's something they don't know. Sponges poop out of their holes, and they 
eat the same place where the blue goes up. Oh, <laughs> 